Hi there, I'm Dark Shades and I was just thinking about the word acceptance and yesterday I was watching Kechi Obuchi. She was the survivor of the Sosaliso Airlines that was a domestic flight that caught, that crashed. 108 people died and she survived third degree burns to I think 75% of her body. When we see her singing, last night she was singing, Don't Worry About Me. He brought tears to my eyes, it talked, brought tears to the eyes of the judges and it brought tears to the eyes of her mother and many in the audience. Because if anybody is an example of acceptance, it's Nkechi Awuchi. I just couldn't believe it. You know, sometimes when we think about ourselves, most of us are so vain. You think about people who do Botox because they have a little crease on their face or somebody who gets big boobs because their boobs aren't big enough. People who get bits in their hair because, you know, their hair isn't thick enough. People don't accept themselves. When they don't accept themselves, what Nketchi does for us is to show that we should accept ourselves, warts and all. But is that what people do? People watch her and think, you know, like, um, uh, what's her name? Mel B was saying, oh, you're so brave, you're so courageous. Everybody's saying, you're so brave, you're so courageous. What they're really saying is that you look like that and yet you're prepared to stand on a stage and sing instead of hide away in a cabinet. That's what really they're saying. They're trying to empathise, but they can't because they know their own misgivings. They know that they themselves could never do that. They're much too vain. They're much too arrogant. They're much too concerned about their appearance. And so we see Nketchi as a symbol of acceptance. Someone who's accepted herself with all those burns, with all that deformity. And she says, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. And you know, a lot of us worry about her because of our own inner insecurities and our own fears. You know, we worry about her because we worry about ourselves. We worry that if that happened to us, how would we deal with it? How would we cope? But, you know, sometimes we see people like Nketchi and we just have to give thanks for our own beauty. And I'm not just talking about physical beauty here. I'm talking about inner beauty because that is what Nketchi personifies. She knows the world is worrying about her. She knows that. And that's why that song was so powerful. So this little bit is just about acceptance. Accept yourself. Accept your hair as it is. Accept your face as it is. You can run away from getting old, but you can't get away from it. You can defer it and you can make yourself look better. You can do the Botox and you can do all the other things that people do as they try to rectify what they see wrong with themselves. But your body is degenerative. Your body will eventually fail you. So you need, it's, the sooner you can deal with that, the better. I can't imagine, I don't know, if I could, if I thought Botox was a permanent thing and you just did one shot and that was it, I'm not saying that I wouldn't do it. But when you think you have to go back, I think every three to six months and have it done, really and truly, I know people, local people who are thinking about Botox. I thought Botox was just for celebrities, but it seems like it's the in thing. People are trying to make themselves look younger, their face look fuller, they're changing the way that they look, they change the way that they appear. I think 
in every plastic surgery office, they should have a picture of Ketchy on their wall to make people realise, look, accept yourself. You're beautiful just the way you are. And that's all I've got to say today. Bye for now.